Hi, did you know that starting from macOS 12 Monterey, Apple has finally made it super easy to completely delete everything from any Mac computer and restore it to its factory settings, with also keeping the latest version of macOS still installed at the same time. To do this, from macOS 13, Ventura or later, all you have to do is to click on the Apple symbol up to the left and select System Settings. Then select General in the sidebar and click on Transfer or Reset to the right. In here, select the option Erase All Content and Settings and enter your password to start the Erase Assistant. If you're unsure which macOS version you are on, just click the Apple symbol and select About This Mac to check that out. If you're on macOS 12 Monterey, you instead click the Apple symbol and choose System Preferences. Then click the System Preferences text next to the Apple symbol and select Erase All Content and Settings there. Now, if you haven't backed up all the files you want to keep to an external drive or similar, now is the time to do so because soon they will be gone forever. Now starting the Erase Assistant, you first get an overview of what will be deleted continuing the process. In this case, the computer I'm using is not connected to an Apple ID, but if it is, this will also be shown here as well as other things like Find My Mac, etc. In that case, you will also have to sign out of your Apple ID and the likes before the process can move on. After clicking continue, you then need to make sure you understand that everything currently stored on the computer will soon be completely deleted. Here, just click Erase All Content and Settings, whereupon the reset process starts. The whole process actually only takes a few minutes, whereupon you then are presented with this screen. Here, either select a Wi-Fi network with the icon up to the right, or connect a network cable if you got the option to do so. Then click Next once the Mac has been activated to again perform another restart. If you're selling or getting rid of the computer, now is the time to shut it down and then let the next person set it up with their own Apple ID and settings, etc. If you are instead going to keep using the computer, just go through the setup process and select language, put in your Apple ID, etc. And that's actually about that. The computer is now completely empty of all its old files. Please share any thoughts or questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.